good day, young scientist. I am Sir Alfred, and I will be your science teacher today. Are you ready to explore and learn something new in the wonderful world of science? Great! Let's have first a short recap about our previous lesson. Write S if the statement is about zero circuit, and write P if the statement is about parallel circuit. Number 1. Has only one path of electricity. Is it S or P? If your answer is S, you are correct. Number 2. When one bulb is burned out, all the other bulbs will not light up. Is it S or P? If your answer is S, you are correct. Number 3. The most advisable to use at home. Is it S or P? If you say P, you are correct. Number 4. Electricity can still flow through the other pathways. Is it S or P? If you say P, you are correct. Number 5. When one bulb is burned out, the other bulbs will still light up. Is it S or P? If you say P, you are correct. I hope everything is clear about the types of circuit. Can you identify the object I am holding right now? Yes, it's a magnet. The question is, can we make a magnet by using simple materials at home? The answer is yes. This magnet is known as electromagnet. Today, our objective is to construct an electromagnet and to identify the factors or variables that affect its strength. So, what is an electromagnet? An electromagnet is a temporary magnet formed when electric current flows through a wire or other conductor. Are you ready to make your own magnet? But before we proceed to our activity, I want you to prepare the following materials. Nail Copper wire Batteries objects, electric tape, pliers, you may ask the assistance of your parents or siblings in doing this activity. You may copy this table and write in your observations in our activity. You may copy this table in your science notebook. Activity 1, Step 1, Wrap the copper wire around the nail. First step is to take the copper wire and very carefully wrap it around the nail in spiral pattern. You might need an adult to help you with this. It should end up a little bit like a screw. Make sure it is tightly wrapped around the iron nail. Make sure you leave two lengths of wire on either end. Attach the ends of the wire to the positive and negative ends of the battery. And use gloves to protect your hands when the battery gets hot. Place some metals near the nail and observe. You may record your observations on the table. Remove one end of the wire from the battery and observe. Attach the wire and add more batteries. Collect the data with one dry cell, with two dry cells, and with three dry cells. Make three trials for each time. Count the number of metals attracted to each. Activity 2. Step 1. Test the magnet with two dry cells. Step 2. Unwind half of the coil and observe its effects. Answer the following questions. When did the nail become a temporary magnet? 
when the electricity flows from the battery to the iron core. Number 2. What happened to the nail when one end of the wire was detached? The answer is, its ability to attract metal was lessened and eventually gone in a few minutes. What did you observe when one dry cell was used? The answer is, it attracts fewer metals. Question number 4. What did you observe after you add two more dry cells to your magnet? The answer is, it attracts more metal objects. Question number 5. Does the strength of an electromagnet affected by the number of dry cells? The answer is, yes. The more dry cells are added to the magnet, the greater its ability to attract metals will be. Question number 6. Which magnet is stronger? The electromagnet with fewer turns of wire or the electromagnet with the greater number of turns? The answer is, the magnet with more turns. An electromagnet is a temporary magnet formed when electric current flows through a wire or other conductor. The moving charges in the wire create a magnetic field around an iron core. This field is called electromagnetism. The greater the current or voltage, the stronger is the magnetic field. Increasing the number of turns of wire increases the strength of electromagnet. To summarize our lesson, answer this activity. Supply the missing words to complete the concept map. Did you get the same answer? Great! Let's answer this activity. Activity number one. Write the word true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Write your answer on the space before each number. Activity number two. Define informant. Write the characteristic of an electromagnet on the third column. Let's check your answer. For your assignment, answer this activity. Answer the concept map by giving some examples of devices that use electromagnets. Copy this concept map in your notebook. Something new today. Once again, this is your science teacher, Sir Alfred, saying.